the robotics team got really, really close last year. So uh, they kind of had some practice and they have a fantastic mentor who's leading the charge. But it's really the kids who have over the course of six weeks, six, seventh and eighth graders to figure out how all of this is going to work. It's kind of amazing. And when you see the hype that the school is feeling, you're going to feel hype too. Talk about palpable enthusiasm. An entire school enthralled about a first in the history of Detroit's public schools. The first time in history a school has made it to the world championships in robotics in the first tech challenge division. We have truly built a fantastic program here and our kids in Detroit are capable of hanging with anyone. Uh, and Michigan is the largest and most difficult region for robotics in the world. The singular non-human star of the show, this robot of course, but all the inanimate parts of this guy assembled by the robotics team at Flick's Foreign Language Immersion and Cultural Studies School. We overcome many issues because that robot is completely redesigned and we got a last minute call that we're going to Worlds. I'm very excited because I've been doing robotics since I was in the fourth grade and it's really a lot of fun and it's a community that you can really find acceptance in. The lieutenant governor there to support a hometown team doing some big things. It's, it's, it's great to see what's going to happen. The next step is on to Houston where we're not only pulling for them but certainly we believe they're going to shine. Now I think this is the other part of the story that's just so cool. Now there's a nonprofit started just two years ago to support some 100 schools all across the city of Detroit who want to pursue robotics, who want to be the best, who want to engage in excellence. It's just another way that Detroiters are showing how they come together and how they're invested in the future. In the city of Detroit, I'm Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.